three, two, one. <laughs> The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. Audience, Hunter. Hi. Where we left off, uh, we're doing groundbreaking work here in an attempt to solve the sliding problem. And I think we've come up with a decent solution. Take a box. It'll go right there. Now, I need... Uh, how many of those little struts do we have? Three. Okay, okay. No big deal. Oh. Bo. <laughs> Alright, we'll take this strut, put it there. And now I need one more box. I don't care which. It's sliding past the anchor. Hurry up. All right, no big deal. Just take it apart. Pick it up. We're gonna try this again. It can only slide so far. So... Place it here. That's the first step to a better life. <laughs> Seems like no matter how we do this, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, so, uh... Ooh, wait. All right, now I like this. Here we go. Give it, like, a V-shape. It's gonna slide right out of that motherfucker. It slid out of the other one. Are you kidding me with this? This stupid thing is gonna keep sliding until I fix this. Uh, stand by. We're off track. It's hitting the rover. Okay! Overreact much? Land upright. Land upright. Is the arm okay? The arm's okay. I'm like genuinely getting frustrated with this. What'd we break? Couple of rear thrusters. And, uh. That's it. Alright, I'll deal with you in a minute. Okay. Now we have a thousand fucking parts sitting around. Oh, wait, we're still time accelerated one second. Okay. Do you have the ground anchor? Yes, you have the ground anchor. It's going to slide in this direction. We 
need to create something long enough that will catch this stupid thing. That is not the orientation I wanted, but that's the orientation it's going to be. Ugh. You know, at this point, just remove the fucking landing legs. Or better yet! The... <gasps> Duh. Duh. <laughs> Got a fucking eye beam. Ain't never gonna get past that fucking thing. All right. Uh, we'll be reliant on jetpacks to get back into the ship, or maybe we could just. Okay, for some reason it won't let me place it there. Is that a range or something? Oh uh, yeah, I think that's up just a little bit too high. Anyway, that's not important. What's important is that I get these pieces where I need them to be. Yes, even this ring. All right, that's gonna hit. With any luck, the... With any luck, the ground anchor will hold up. Okay. Seems to be holding there. Alright, next order of business. Uh... I will figure this out. Alright, this one has a significantly smaller margin for error, because I have fewer parts. I don't have an extra eye beam When you're using atomic rocket motors, you end up using a lot of eye beams to get the landing legs on, but those are the landing legs. I need those. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I completely forgot I put one of these on. Here, let me try to mount this properly. Here. There. And, uh... Go ahead and put the ring on this side for good measure. Test that. Give me a strut. Have that... Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Put that there. Weld it down. Fucking welding. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. Extend the boom. Time to do some cold, hard science. Does this have a collision? It does. 
It's a bit bendy, though. So we gotta be careful with it. I'm thinking... A big ol' strut. To reinforce it. Wait, did that go on? Or, oh, no, 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 not yet. <gasps> that will work. That will reinforce the thingy. Okay. Awesome. Rover, how you how you doing, girl? How we looking? You okay? Still controlled from the uh Yeah. She won't be as good, and I don't think she can fly anymore, but... Uh, to be honest, we never really needed that feature. <laughs> it's a car. It doesn't need to fly. Alright, bring the car over. We're gonna... finish up here. And then we can finally go on that drive. Ugh. Jofke sits here and tries to solve the sliding problem. Ugh. Mystery goo observations in the lowlands. Oh wait, this is Lola. I need Jofke. This is just in case it goes the other way. That will not hold it, but we can hope. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can get some uh, magnetometer readings. I, I, okay, yeah, I think that's just an orbital tool. Jovki, go ahead and grab your jetpack. At the very least, it seems okay for now. Just don't climb on it. Just don't climb on the rocket. Which means it's going to be very interesting trying to, uh... Get our get our equipment out of the close enough here. Hold it steady. There we go. Just don't touch it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We got the science kit. Jeb has some extended tanks. And Lola has the science kit. Okay. We're ready for this excursion. The name of the episode is Hunt for the Magic Boulder, and we spent nearly 15 minutes trying to... Trying to get the, uh... Stupid thing working. Whoa, what the fuck? Why are you still moving? The brakes are on. How can it still move? So wait, are the brakes just a suggestion at this point? What gives? We don't have a, Mc, a McJeb module on this thing, so, uh... We're gonna have to eyeball this. Which is not gonna be fun. It should be more or less in this area. 
that way, I believe. I'm also gonna have to drive this manually, which is a pain in the ass. But the alternative is ripping the uh, mech jab module off of the lander itself, which I don't think we can do. And I'm afraid that's gonna get the lander sliding again, which is the last thing I want. All right, let's open it up, see what she can do. Get some decent horsepower out of this. Finally, we have a moon with a uh, semi-low gravitational pull. We can really open her up. At least on the uphills. How's the power? Power is stable. Which is good because this is the direction we're going to be going for a really long time. Just need to be careful with it. Once we go out of uh, visual range of the uh, lander, we'll stop hearing that stupid noise. <laughs> that might be it up there. Oh, and again, we are surrounded by just regular frickin' rocks. Not entirely sure which of these we can scan. You guys mind? Ugh. Okay, we actually have some options. Uh, pressure data, seismic data, gathered precise acceleration data while subjecting the vessel to this situation. Oh. Gravity, accurate measurements of the gravitational forces in these conditions. Temperature. Uh, review that data, please. Lowlands, okay. Keep it. Oh, hello, whoa. Okay, something interesting here. And it's red. Blood red. Okay. <laughs> we got a blood red rock. Looks like it's straight off of, uh... Straight off of Duna itself. Give it a scan. Duna ejecta. Okay, my theory there might actually be correct. I give it a give it a drill. Yeah. We had an arm on Duna, but it wasn't nearly this good. Besides providing valuable data of Ike and Duna's prehistory, pet Ike rocks are now all the rage back home on Kerbin. Really. This is the first time I've been here. And... You're gonna be like that? Okay. <laughs> Lola. Where's the fucking leaves? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Take the data. Reset. Uh, I thought I thought that was just while it was moving. All right, data. You're standing on data. And more data. And now we take the arm data. Here, go ahead and uh, hop off. You don't have a jetpack, do you? No, you don't. Okay. Collect data. Yes, remove it. We can restore it. It's fine. 
That's nine experiments already! From this little moon. Alright. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, uh, the blood red rocks would have been easy to spot. There's another one there, too. And another. Alright, this might be the only surface feature worth mentioning. Oh, wow. Okay, you're, uh,. Power reserves took a hit there, didn't they? It'll take a it'll take a little bit to get them back up to snuff. We haven't been driving very long, and we're go we're only going like here, ish. Once we reach the top of the hill, I'll kind of survey the area. Pictures of this thing tell me absolutely nothing. I'll tell you what. It might be easier to pick this thing out if we turned off terrain scatter. Because right now we're looking for a needle in a very large haystack. It's kind of darker than all the other boulders, but, uh, but, uh... Honestly, the most distinctive thing about it is that it glows green. Alright, how much terrain scatter can we actually render? Right about to there. Is that it? Impossible. Wait! Spotted something there. Oh, crap. We're going backwards, aren't we? Yeah, we're going backwards down the hill. Sorry. Hit the brakes, please. <sighs> Sorry about that. We should probably keep the traction control up at maximum. That should keep us from sliding. I believe we're... No? No, ship is still there. I stopped hearing the stupid whirring of the mystery goo container. I'm waiting for it. I can hear that stupid thing from 50 miles away. I'm waiting for it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I like that this is just routine for us now. Science camps, big old road trips. Moho had a pretty short road trip. Wasn't anything special. We really are getting too smart on every planet and moon. I'm kind of, it's kind of working for us. Uh, uh, come on. Stop sliding. Work with me. I have a thousand boulders to check. It's going to be... Where's that, where's that thing I think I spotted? Because I don't think I spotted what I think I spotted. I think it's around there. I have an idea. Okay, you are going the completely wrong direction. Okay, 
stopped. Oh, crap. We don't have a core on this thing, do we? I'm gonna tell you what, maybe we won't need it. I'm gonna enter the coordinates into the ship's computer. Okay. 11 degree, 11 degrees, 23 inches south. And... 27 degrees, 19 inches east. Map? Well, that makes no sense. That's in the opposite direction. Twenty-seven, nineteen. Wait, hold on. Eleven degrees. Pfft, I don't believe this thing. Frick, tell me that the boulder is in the exact opposite direction of where I've been driving. There are a million rocks out there. I cannot spot it. Are you sure? <laughs> no, according to this, it is on it is in the lowlands. Okay. Oh wait, you know what I meant to do? For some reason, that's 112260. So, 1123 0 27 19 No, that's, uh... That's what I'm getting. Just a short drive away from where we, uh, from where we came down. Bring the car around. And open that screenshot. I'm gonna compare it to my, uh, current location. It appears to be, like, right on top of a uh, semi-gray dot right around here. Exactly right there. So we need to aim for that little gray dot. Okay, you need brakes. You are going exactly way too fast for comfort. Uh, traction control at maximum, please. All wheels. Rear wheel. Oh, see, here's the problem. The brakes aren't hauling nearly as much ass as they should be. We could actually, like overwork the brakes if we wanted to. Bring the brakes up to 200%, and then the, that thing ain't never moving, no matter what, what incline we're at. It just starts sliding. Okay. Whatever we're after, it is downhill. Okay. 
Okay, this is a bad orientation. One sec. Right around that gray dot. The gray dot is right there. So from there. The gray patch is there. That's the gray patch. If I had to guess, our boulder is right around there. It is not a short drive, but it is an extremely possible drive. I may not like it, seeing as how we have no mechanical jib, and I'm very worried about the lander just toppling over, but this is not the most impossible drive we've ever done. I think the longest drive we ever did was bop. Yeah, no, definitely bop. Because on bop, we had to go really slowly, and we ran out of nitrous. <laughs> So, yeah, not the funnest drive in the world. This is fine, though. We can reliably go in a straight line downhill. And if we start going too fast, I'll just hit the brakes. Gotta be careful of these, uh... Red ones, though. The red ones actually have collision. So are these, like, all red ones? Or is that one something different? Wait a minute. It just, it, it, the camera won't go down far enough for me to be able to tell. Uh, give me a second. Going in for a closer look, until, at least until I can see coloration. <clears throat> at least until I can see what color this thing is. It, it might be red, but... It, also kind of looks like a really dark gray. It might actually be very, very dark gray. All right, just don't lose track of the uh, dark patch. What was it again? It's this one, okay. It's just another red one. All right. Try not to go too fast. I'm starting to think all of these are going to be red rocks. Hmm. Shame. All right, let's get moving. Dark patch right there. Dark patch there. Right off in that direction. Orient accordingly. Good. This is perfect. Okay. Now we just have to, uh... carefully drive in a straight line. That is the right patch, right? It might actually be this one. 
Ugh. Show me the map screen. It's this patch right here. A somewhat darker patch of dirt. Right there. Okay, from there, go ahead. Adjust course again. Go ahead and uh, start decelerating as well. Okay. Should be heading right towards it. And we'll be there in... Five hours. At this speed, yeah, it will be five hours. Come and 